Good evening at 6 o'clock. Welcome to Wednesday's London Tonight. We have the latest from around the capital. Here's what's coming up between now and 6.30. It's sexy. It's saucy. No, not me. Well, yes, me. But also the incredible new burlesque show coming to London town. Uh, this is all about something that was once the preserve of the small stage cabaret. But for a certain Miss Dieter von Tees brought it to a wider audience. And now the world of the burlesque artist is to be given a major platform on the West End stage. Well, the new show promises to be both erotic and artistic. Always a classic combination. And it's being choreographed. <laughs> <laughs> what, like salt and vinegar or ham and exactly. eggs? I mean, what? <laughs> They've got to go together. <laughs> got to go together. It's being choreographed by uh, creative dance talents behind Kylie and Michael Jackson. <laughs> Not the classic combination. <laughs> right, so 100 hopefuls showed up uh, this morning in their stockings and their corsets at the audition today. It was all a bit saucy, it was all a bit risque. Clearly, it was a job for Glenn Goodman. A century ago, it was considered one of the lowest forms of entertainment, where dirty old men would leer at women of questionable morals. But burlesque has undergone a massive revival. It's now considered quaint, quirky and artistic. In the audiences today, you're much more likely to find women and gay men than lads out on stag do's. Dieter Von Tees famously pioneered the burlesque revival in America, but in Britain a new star is emerging. Miss Polly Ray is coming to the West End with the all-new Hurley Burley show. Her previous shows have been all singing, all dancing extravaganzas. Oh yes, it's not just about taking your clothes off, it's about the spectacle, the music, the aesthetics and the taking your clothes off. Burlesque is something that's celebrating the female form. It's something that's very, very empowering to women, and I think that that's obviously an inspiration to them, and that's why it's become so popular. How long have you been doing it, then? About four years. You like it? I absolutely love it. I mean, before I started, I had no idea about burlesque or anything at all, but I actually did a course in burlesque four years ago. On NVQ um, or what? Well, no, 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 but I actually work with the London Academy of Burlesque, and they teach how to do burlesque. The London uh, Academy of exactly. Burlesque? There's an academy for everything yeah, these days, I know. Isn't it? <laughs> The director of Polly's show was Kylie Minogue's creative director for 11 years. Both of us loved, you know, loved, loved that look. I mean, a lot of the kind of the showgirl stuff that we've done with Kylie is burlesque, and uh, a lot of the musical arrangements as well. We've been playing more, more and more with, with burlesque. Uh, but just generally, I think, as, as a form, it's becoming more and more culturally popular. Four, five, six, seven. One. Today they're holding auditions for the show, open to all ages, all backgrounds, all abilities. I love burlesque, I love the cheekiness of it, you know, but I do like the more classical look. I mean, you know, the, you can get a common look as well. And um, the classical is beautiful and a woman's body is beautiful. All the strip clubs I've worked in around in the world and there aren't many sexy girls. They've learned how to do striptease but they haven't got the natural sex appeal and there's a lot of girls here that have, so that's quite nice to see. Can you tell me what numbers are you please? Number four. Number 54. Number 13, all right. So you're comfortable with nudity then? Oh, very comfortable indeed. Inexplicably, I didn't make the final selection for the show at the Leicester Square Theatre, but you can catch the others strutting their stuff in February. Glenn Goodman, London Tonight, Soho. <laughs> and now Robin's here. I don't know what to say. How do you get from one to the other? <laughs> I've got a burlesque game. Would you like you to find out what your burlesque <laughs> names would be? Oh, OK. Go okay, on. Okay. You take the third letter of your first name and the right. third letter of your last name and then you work from a menu of limited names. I've right. actually yeah. done the homework for you, oh, so okay. you don't even All have right, to okay, think okay. what a okay. gift is that. Yeah. <laughs> Relief. The third letters of both of your first names, of course, is T. Yes. Yeah. So your burlesque Christian name would be Perky. <laughs> your surname, Katie. <laughs> because it's D would be topless, so you'd be Perky Perky Topless. topless. Okay. It's a dream, is Matt, name? Matt, yes. <laughs> you would be Perky Heartbreaker. Perky Heartbreaker. Which I think has a gravitas like to that. it that Katie sadly lacks. And if you're at all <laughs> interested, I can give you mine. I can give you well, mine, because my first burlesque name would be Fabulous. Yes, of course. Let down sadly by the surname, which in the burlesque realm of things is Poser. So Fabulous Poser, <laughs> I dare say, <laughs> something's been levelled at me before now. 
segueing neatly onto the weather. I don't know where that leaves us, to be perfectly honest. But nothing very burlesque about the weather, I'm sorry to say. It's a bit wet and a bit windy. Here's the full picture.